Hi everyone. We have just uh, posted on our website power.life our first batch of speakers of uh, conscious entrepreneurs, indigenous entrepreneurs. Please check it out, power.life. But today I want to talk about a very important topic. Someone in our Discord community has created a channel addictions. We talk about you know hard topics or real topics that we think about. And I thought about it. So I had to, I, I felt like sharing a video today with, with, with all of you. Um, addictions. So what are you, what are we all addicted to? We are all addicted to, it, it can be tobacco, it can be alcohol, it can be coffee, it can be uh, addictive sports, extreme sports, intense sports, it can be addiction to work as well. It can be martial arts, combat martial arts, anything spicy, any, anything very strong. Too much work can also be an addiction or not enough work. <laughs> Both of them, right? This is spice. It's like liking intense. And I, I love intense things in many ways. So I thought about it. And I, I thought about the, the movie Dune. You remember Dune? I'm going to watch it again. In Dune, they have a spice. The spice is épice in French, which is this uh, very unique thing that can be found. And if you think about the movie, I, I don't know, I'm not very good at interpreting movies, but I thought about it. It came in dreams too many times. So there are holes in the sand, in the desert, in that movie. And those holes, for me, could be the addictions. In nature, there are holes too, in the sound, that you can, like, les sables mouvants, as we say in French, the moving sound. I don't know how you translate it, but you know those holes that you can fall into. And animals have that too. Uh, some little holes, I posted that on yawa.news, my newsletter, are holes for insects made by ants that can be very dangerous for them. So I see the addictions as a hole in the sound. And so how do we, how do we deal with, with, with a hole? For me, it's a hole that can be inside ourselves. It's a hole that can come from a, from a trauma, from childhood, something that is empty and that sometimes hurts too. And why, why do we get addicted to anything? Again, it doesn't have to be a substance. It could be, but it could be just, you know, again, sports, for example, like running in the morning every single day. Did a few marathons when I was younger. So I had that addiction for a while. I was running every single day to prepare for a marathon. New York is amazing. <laughs> a marathon of New York. I, I would love to run that again, but my knees would not like it too much. And so... The hole is there, and we're trying to fit it in with something, right? Feed the hole. But it never fills up. I, I, that's my experience, just sharing what I feel here. Is you, can, you can feel it with as much work, as much you know, sports, as much danger, as much spice, but it never fills in. It's always there. Instead, what seems to be the right solution, at least, at least for me again, is to recognize the hole that we have from, I don't know, I, you know, my sister had a car accident and ended up a year in coma. That created something in me that I cannot remove. It's there for life. And I loved her. I still love her. She's, she's not with us anymore. But this hole, when I meditate, which is uh, another way to deal with it, I see it, it's fair. So I could feed it, or I could just look at it, it's fair. Okay, there is this hole. Stop feeding it. Like back to the movie on uh, Dune, the spice is made by the, uh, by actually by, by those animals, those, those huge worms, right? The worms are uh, creating larva, <laughs> and that larva makes the spice. So in, in the danger of a hole, there is an opportunity 
there is this spice which is inside, which you can use without having to feed it or fight it or being intense about it. Just recognizing it, meditating. Seeing that hole and staying, sitting with it. Whatever it is, it could be uh, something frustrating us in life that you cannot solve. There are so many things we cannot solve, right? So, for me, there is an opportunity. I'm working on that every single day to recognize that our body has everything. It doesn't need an outside spice. It's fair. There is a path that I, I've been working on, which is called the Red Road, where we do vision quests, we fast. So instead of adding things to the hole, we add nothing. No food, no water, four days in the jungle, just nature and animals. That's it. And that way, the hole gets smaller because the body has everything already. It's fair. Is spice in June for me. It's there. I just need to find it. I just need to feel it. The hole cannot be changed. That's fine. It's how I am. Just a few thoughts. Food for thought. <laughs>